That's right. It was a very emotional speech by the father of the victim. She is uh, Noelle Cooper, just 14 years old, a track star over at Mumford High School. And as you know, she was just getting out of school the first day of school when she was hit by bullets. Now, let's look at the suspect. This is a mugshot of uh, Stephen James Hare. He is 17 years old, and he has been charged with two counts of assault with intent to commit murder, two counts of assault with intent to do great bodily harm, felony firearms possession, and carrying a concealed weapon. Uh, now, as to the victim, with two different children shot in this uh, scenario on the first day of school, a 16-year-old boy and 14-year-old uh, uh, a 14 year old girl, um, Miss Cooper. Her father spoke to us just a few minutes ago about what happened and what that girl is going through. It could have been anybody's child. It just happened, it was mine. And I wouldn't want this to happen to anyone. I don't want to see no mother or father go through what we've been going through. This is just about separating two families because she was walking with her sister. And her sister was right there when it happened. Both of my kids could have got hurt. Just fortunately, and by the grace of God, only one. Emotionally, she's going through a lot of changes. I mean, you know, it's not every day that you get hit by a bullet. So, yeah, for a child of 14 years old, uh, emotionally, it's, it's draining her. Now, Noelle Cooper was shot in the face, just above the eyes, where she was hit with that bullet. She is recovering at home now. She's out of the hospital. This is Police Chief uh, Ralph Godby on the job about six weeks now. Uh, can you tell me, sir, uh, what led up to this? We have uh, a, a, a gunman. Uh, it, school ends on the first day of school about 3.15, and what does this guy do? Well, uh, as school was dismissing around 3.30, uh, just short of the school, Wyoming, Santa Clara, uh, the skirmish uh, uh, took place uh, between Mumford High School students. Uh, obviously, we know a 14-year-old, 16-year-old were wounded. Uh, the shooter, Stephen Hare, and two juvenile accomplices fled from the scene. Uh, DPS, uh, public safety, Detroit Police Department, uh, citizens, uh, we all got together in the uh, moments immediately afterwards, uh, processed a ton of information in a short amount of time. And you found this guy relatively fast? found right? him uh, very fast. Uh, he was identified uh, within 24 hours, uh, and today a warrant was signed by the prosecutor's office. And um, we have a weapon also. So this being tested uh, by the state police crime lab. What have you got? What was the weapon? Uh, well, I can't describe the weapon. Okay. Obviously, that, I don't want to jeopardize the case. Let's but talk about motive. Weapon. Okay, uh, motive. Uh, we heard that there was some kind of a Facebook uh, disagreement that broke out between the shooter and the 16-year-old boy victim. Is that true? Well, there's some. There, there's a nexus to Facebook. And uh, we do believe that uh, the teenagers had something going on on Facebook. And we are encouraging parents to really get involved and active, know what social media uh, that your young people are engaged in, uh, because that was valuable information that if we had have known that ahead of time, maybe we could have averted this. Okay, and the other two suspects, do you expect to charge them in the coming days? For the two juvenile suspects, uh, the prosecutor is still reviewing charges relative to them. They're in custody? They are in custody at the Wayne County Youth Home. Okay, good job, Chief. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate your time. So that is the very latest. Uh, the shooter in this case, Stephen Hare, has been charged with felony crimes, a whole list of them. He could get up to life in prison. Reporting live in Detroit, Bill Spencer, Channel 7 Action News.